Hi, everybody. Welcome to the KC Chiropults podcast brought to you by CATS Chiropractic Consultants, helping chiropractors keep their pulse on success. So I'm Dr. Michael Perush, and I'm joined today by one of my longtime friends. I'm not going to tell everybody how far we go back, but Dr. CV, welcome. How are you? I am great. I am great. It's so, so yeah. great to see you and catch up. We've been friends forever and ever. So this is this is always fun when I get to uh, do one of these with uh, with an old buddy. Absolutely. Likewise. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's an honor to be here with you today. I'm so glad you are. I'm so glad you were you had time to do this. So, you know, you and I have been friends for a long time. We were in school together and then we both went off to to practice and we both developed amazing practices. Um, and ironically, both of us in Missouri. And, uh, you know, just I, just talk about your journey a little bit. You have such a unique journey in, in the chiropractic profession. So just tell everybody a little bit about it. You bet. So yeah, I, um, I practice in St. Joseph, Missouri, a little bit north of Kansas City. And I have an activator practice, loved it. I've had like seven associates over the years. I know you know that. And we just we were very blessed. We took care of a lot of patients. We helped yep. a lot of patients. And, you know, we integrated nutrition in our practice, and it was just amazing. I actually sold that practice about five and a half years ago, and um, it's been awesome. But I really felt like my gifts could be better used. Um, I love chiropractic. Like, I still see a few friends and family out of my home right. just because I love it. I'm obsessed with it, right? Um, but I feel like I could leverage and use my gifts a little bit better with the freedom that I wanted um, to kind of go everywhere. Like you're down in Florida now, lucky you. Right. Um, so that's kind of the direction I went and it is, mm -hmm. it's been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you've always kind of had this penchant for nutrition and oh my gosh. You, you yeah. just, you, you, you had such a huge nutrition based practice Talk a little bit about that and how that led you away from kind of being tied to private practice, because I think this is important for, for doctors to hear. There are so many options and avenues for how we want to practice, whether it's in clinic actually adjusting patients or it's bringing people along on the nutrition side of the world. Absolutely, Mike. I um, you you're, you said it. I am obsessed with nutrition. I love it. I still to this day take as many continuing education credits as I can I love in it. nutrition because it's constantly evolving. It's constantly changing. Yeah, science. Right. So you kind of have to stay on top of that. And I always said, okay, I'm going to adjust you on the outside of your body, obviously, with chiropractic and on the inside with nutrition. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful symbiotic relationship. And, you know, my husband is a serial entrepreneur and he does a lot of business consulting. And what he always teaches is you have to find a way to leverage and you need to be diversified. So what I found is I could actually do both of those by incorporating nutrition in my practice. Um, obviously, I love helping people through chiropractic and through nutrition and um, it, they worked really well together. But right. because of that, I was actually able to retire and sell my practice a little five and a half years ago. And um, I, I was actually earning a little bit more in my residual business versus at work. And I found that, you know, there's only so much time in a day. So I could only see so many, there's only one of me. I could right. only see so many patients a day. So even when I went on vacation, like, you know, I had two associate doctors in the practice that could still take care of patients, which was awesome. But two doctors cannot do what three doctors can do. So my services were always down. So right. when I went on vacation though, and I was down in Cancun celebrating my anniversary, having fruity drinks, um, my nutrition business was growing organically, whether I was there or not. And you know, that was the, the leverage piece, the freedom piece. That was really what I was seeking, yet I was still able to help patients you know, nutritionally with their health, I, but I was able to do it on my, on my own time, where, where I wanted, when I wanted, yep. with who I wanted. You know, and so. you, bring up, you bring up a great point, leverage and freedom. We have to learn how to leverage our time better so we create those points of freedom. I, I talk to so many doctors who get so burned out with practice because it's kind of the same thing over and over every single day, and there's only so far you can take it. And how do you, how do you continue growing your, your 
revenue and and not just your revenue but your personal wealth i mean that's that's really the goal of being an entrepreneur you know we take that chiropractic hat off and you know we put the business hat on and we're helping ourselves as we're helping patients and we have to sometimes figure out more ways to be able to do that and nutrition is such a great avenue and you you and i were talking just the other day about the fact that um, insurance today and, and trying to live in that insurance world. I mean, talk about a stranglehold on you sometimes. So finding uh, great profit centers, revenue centers that you can practice in that are cash-based. And yeah, it's nutrition's one of those great ones because you don't have to be front and center with the patient all the time. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I, I love it. And um, yeah, so even, you know, some things changed with the company that we were with and we made a switch about eight, 18 months ago, a little over 18 uh -huh. months ago. And I almost, we we're really in prayer about where God, God wanted us to be. I'm like, okay, God, do you really want me to go into practice back into practice? <laughs> Cause now that I've had the freedom, it'd be really hard. However, I, I would do that. Like if I was led that way, sure. or is there a company out there that we can align ourselves with from an integrity standpoint, from a comp plan standpoint, from a product, do they have best in class product? Because, you know, our integrity is everything. Yeah, as absolutely. Providers. So do they have best in class products? Um, do they have a philanthropy and, and what's the timing of the company? So um, we were kind of on a quest about 18, a little over 18 months ago. And we actually have found a company that we align ourselves now with that meets all those requirements. And so um, we've been blessed beyond measure and it just feels good when you we you know when you get those i know this is going to sound crazy but when you get those text messages from your phone where you've changed somebody's life like lives like like with with whatever area they're deficient in their energy their sleep their whatever they're looking right. for right their mental acuity when you get those messages i don't know for you if it does the same thing a dopamine hit <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's just like when we give an adjustment in the office, right? Absolutely. And that patient went down with a headache and they come up without one. It's like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. Amen to that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, you mentioned something a second ago, 18 yeah. months ago, you made a change. And I think that's an important factor to think about. No matter what you're doing in practice, whether it's in the clinic or outside of the clinic, we always have to be on our toes and looking at what our business model is, what products are we utilizing, how are we adjusting, do we know the latest techniques, are we staying up on, on the latest and greatest in nutrition? You know, we, we always have to make sure that we're driving ourselves to the forefront of uh, being able to help people. And that's, that, that so fits into our chiropractic philosophy. That's who we are. And so, you know, Absolutely. hats I, off, I to, you. Hats off to you and Dave for- or you're dying. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So hats off to you and Dave for really being on your toes with that. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of these companies, especially yeah. nutrition companies, the way they formulate their products and things, over time it changes. I mean, I can't, I can't really think of one off the top of my head that at some point didn't formulate some kind of change that um, may have degraded patient outcomes a little bit. And, you know, as a, as a doctor, ethically, you've got to make sure that you're protecting your patients from from that very thing so you really have to stay on top of it but it can be very rewarding too absolutely absolutely and and that's exactly you know um it's exactly what happened and so that's why we were in prayer about okay do i go back into practice is there a company out there that does have that that integrity and what's their vision going forward you mm -hmm. know are they is that that's ever going to happen are they ever going to go for that bottom line and compromise us as chiropractors, right? Or what's their, their policy going forward? And so um, it's so nice to be able to have those, you know, to, to align with a company that's very transparent is so important. So to have those conversations with the chief science officer, with the founder, with the CEO, and know like what their values are, what their integrity is, um, know their vision, you know, they're gonna be the main the, the, the primary shareholder um, as long as they're here on earth to, to know that, you know, um, that's huge. That is really huge. It I mean, huge. honestly, honestly, I was like, 
I was this close to wanting to go back into practice because the program that they have a, as a piece of their comp plan, I was like, man, I could probably add 10 grand a month with my eyes closed with nutrition alone. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I almost want to get that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost yeah. is, the, is the key word though. But yeah, yeah. Well, I, so, you, you I know you up, and I had that yeah. conversation too. <laughs> yeah, we did. And you bring up a great point there. You can't just take these companies <clears throat> at face value. You can't just look at their glitzy, mar glitzy marketing materials and um, supposed studies and those kind of things. You've really got to dive into them and make sure that they have a good foundation to them. And you mentioned some great things and capitalization is another one. You, do they have enough money to stay in business and continually improving their formulations along the way? That's super important too. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I love that they're debt free. I love that they're running lean and mean. I love that um, their founder doesn't even take a paycheck like he came out of retirement to truly make a difference. Um, so awesome. I mean, that spoke volumes to me, you know, I spoke volumes to me because, um, you know, that's the heart, that's the integrity moving forward. Um, that's the motive for those changes that take place in a lot of companies. You know, so yeah, so it was great. And, and, and yes, Dave and I always do our due diligence and Dave always, you know, for years, Mike, I know you know this, but and it's, I'm sure it's the same for you, but for years, people would try to recruit us into other companies. Yep. And I would always get on the phone with the chief science officer. I would ask the tough questions and I was always looking for best in class products. And Dave would get on the phone with the CEO and he would ask the tough questions on, you know, the compensation side, the business side, the opportunity side, the integrity side of the leadership. And we were always like, nope, 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 nope. And so um, to have that change 18 and a half months ago was, was quite like unexpected for one thing. Um, but definitely an answered prayer. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys are doing so well. Um, I appreciate you coming on today and just sharing your story about things. Anything else you want to let the listeners know? Oh, no. I just know that they get so much value from you. I mean, you oh, thank are you. <laughs> top notch. Yeah. If I was in practice, you know I would hire you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I refer people to you all the time. So thank you for yes, just and thank you for that. Serve. You know, you, your heart, your service heart has always been first and foremost. And so thank you for continuing to serve even through this podcast and even through your consulting on um, you just, you, you define, um, just have that. I, I love your heart. You know, you have that service heart. And so thank well, you. Thank you for your that. friendship and everything. And thank you for having me on the podcast. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. I'm so glad you joined us today. And you're absolutely right. God leads the heart. And that's, that's when you know you're doing the right thing. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. We appreciate you listening to the Casey Cairo Pulse brought to you by Cats Consultants, helping you keep your pulse on success. Be sure to check us out at catsconsultants.com. And from all of us here at Cats Consultants, stay informed and well-adjusted. We'll see you soon.